one has waffles on it. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And welcome back to another TBR video. It has been a little bit since I think I did my last TBR video. I think the last time I did one was maybe for February and it was like a generator picks. I ended up wrapping all of my TBR books in this brown wrapping paper and randomly allowing the number generator to pick what I read for that month. Well, for this month, I actually decided to do something different. I was preparing to film that same video where I allow the number generator to pick what I read, and I just had this epiphany. I should allow you guys to pick my TBR for the month. That is exactly what I did. I actually went on my Instagram and I posted a story asking you guys to pick a number one through 46. I just posted this, so hopefully there are enough responses but basically oh yeah okay we've got some good ones so I am just going to scroll and randomly pick on some let's go ahead and pick our first one I'm gonna let you guys see it first I'm just gonna okay I think okay my fingers on one I don't know what it says first one we have is 16 oh my gosh I love this wait this is so fun thank you so much to everyone who participated in this and if you want to participate in the next one and see all my bookish posts you can go follow me over on Instagram 16 on this side <laughs> This is called When Fate Breaks. So this was sent to me by one of you guys. Actually, pretty much most of these were sent to me by you guys. This author is also, I believe, a booktuber as well, which is so cool. So if you guys wanna go support, her name is Nikki Witt. The book is called When Fate Breaks. Look how cool this cover is too. This is a romance book and it's basically about the main character, her and her fiance move into her dream house together. And I believe she's planning her wedding. The only problem, or I guess issue, if you will, going on with the house is there's a greenhouse in the backyard and it's a dilapidated greenhouse. And I think she somehow finds a memento from the past and I don't know if it's through the greenhouse or what, but she ends up giving, I think her childhood friend a call and his name is Blake. It starts bringing some things up from the past. I think it says he ends up going to remodel the greenhouse for like two weeks so he might go stay with her. I am so happy I drew this. So okay, this is a great start. Let's do this again. Okay, let's go, yeah, down to the bottom. Let's do this one. 23, okay. I 100% recommend doing this on your Instagram. This is so fun. Oh, this is a thick one. A hard cover. I don't know what this could be, but I'm here for it. Guys, you saw. I literally I literally showed you. This I drew the serpent in the wings of night. This is my Discord's book of the month, so I couldn't have planned that any better. That is crazy. And I'm actually really glad I unwrapped this because I had no idea what number it was. That's really good. Although I do have a key just in case I ever do need to unwrap one of these. But that is so cool. This is so fun. So this one was actually really popular last year. It like blew up. And so there are vampires in this world and then humans as well. And I know the main character is a human and she ends up competing in this competition. That's basically like a Hunger Games situation. And it sounds like there's a lot of scheming I don't know, it sounds really good. <gasps> Wait, this is the cover? Oh my gosh. That is amazing. You never know what lies underneath the sleeve. Let's do it again. Oh, 23. Did I just do 23? I did. 32. Okay. Let's see what is in 32. Oh my gosh. I have been wanting to read this so bad and for so long. 
This is a young adult mystery and it's called Truly Devious. I have heard this is a really fun mystery and kind of thriller. I've also heard that if you like A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, you will probably like Truly Devious, which is a trilogy. I loved A Good Girl's Guide to Murder so much. Basically, the main character ends up going to this, I think it's a prestigious academy. It has a really dark history. I know that the headmaster, his wife and daughter were kidnapped and their kidnapper's pseudonym was truly devious. And so fast forward, now this main character is actually going to that school and she wants to uncover the truth about this case because it was an unsolved case. And so now she wants to do some digging. She's kind of realized that someone has gotten away with murder. So I am very excited to read this. Guys, I have not read a mystery thriller in so long. I realized that. Thirteen? Did we already do thirteen? Why can't I remember? No, we did not. This is thin. What the heck? Ooh. <laughs> okay. This one. Mimi, she actually bought this for me. She's so sweet. Um, it's called Hunt on Dark Waters. This is a romance book. I think there might be witches in this and also definitely pirates. I have no idea. I feel like this is going to be very spicy, but my Mimi, she didn't know that. I know she just looked at this and thought it sounded really cute. It says a stern captain meets his witchy match in this captivating first fantasy romance novel in the Crimson Sails series. Oh, there's vampires in this too. Oh my gosh, wait, this sounds really interesting. The main character, she's kind of a pickpocket and she just stole from her vampire boyfriend and ends up going through a portal to another realm and she basically gets fished out of the sea by these pirates and she's given this choice to either join their ship or die. So she ends up taking these vows and joining their crew but she has no intention of keeping them. And then her and the captain or one of the pirates, they end up hitting it off. They're also dealing with all the stuff that's going on at sea. I'm excited to read this. I hope I can get to this this month because yeah, this sounds interesting. Wait, ooh, it's not that long. 13. Didn't I just do 13? Oh, is that one? Did I? No, I did not. 42. Okay, let's do 42. What the heck is 42? Oh, wait, it might be up here. No. I think we have another hardcover. <laughs> I'm so happy. I just drew the secret garden. This is a classic. I actually did a classics video, I think back in January or February, and that was so much fun to film. I read Persuasion, um, Little Women, and Anne of Green Gables, and I actually really wanted to read The Secret Garden as well. So I'm really glad that I drew this. I have heard The Secret Garden is so magical. 22. We have yet another hardcover. Oh, yes! Yes! Wait, I'm so happy. I just bought this book actually, and I'm so glad. This is called Expiration Dates. This just came out in March, and it's actually by the same author who wrote In Five Years and I think she also wrote One Italian Summer, which I haven't read either one of those, but I really want to. Every single time I see them at the store, I'm like, that looks really, really good. So this will be my first read of hers, and what really drew me, honestly, was the cover. This book sounds so good. I think it might be general fiction. The whole storyline is the main character. She gets these slips of paper every single time she gets into a relationship. It says the name of the guy that she's getting into a relationship with and it also has a certain number of days or something like that and that's how long 
or maybe it's a date, I can't remember, but regardless, it predicts exactly how long she will be with this guy. And then one night she goes on a blind date, she gets the slip of paper with the name, but there's no date underneath it. And so she's like, is this the one? And then their whole story just unfolds and it sounds so good. This might be one of my favorite stacks ever. You guys choose really good books. I'm so sorry for the noise in the background. That would be my air fryer. I'm so sorry. For the last number, I think I might just choose a random one and see what we get. Ooh, okay, we have number five. What is this? Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, I completely forgot about this. Wait, I'm so excited to read this. This is called Tell Me Three Things. And actually the cover is what got me. My friend Shay, she actually got Ian and I some books for Christmas. So sweet of her. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Shay. This was one of the books that I picked out. We just went to Barnes and Noble and she was like, get a few books so this is one of them seriously so sweet and I'm so excited to read this this is a young adult novel and basically the main character she ends up going to this prep school in LA and she's originally from Chicago but her mom passed away and now she is dealing with so many changes in her life she has a stepmom now she is ready to move back to Chicago until the main character gets an anonymous email from someone offering to help her and just like get adjusted to her new school and kind of show her the ropes. They just start forming this friendship and getting closer and closer and she can't help but wonder who is this anonymous user? I seriously could keep going. This was so much fun. I don't want to stop. I could just unwrap all of these. I won't, but I could. Thank you for picking some amazing books for me. Let me know which one of these you would like to see in a reading vlog. I just love you guys so much and you mean the world to me. Thank you for all of your comments. You guys are just the best. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.